rappers a billion in one strings playing one of your all-time favorite tunes. On top of the news this morning, there's monkey business in Utah. Oh, seriously now, it seems that a band of renegade chimpanzees have kidnapped the Pulitzer Prize winning poet Lester Charles and are demanding... Hey, what's the big idea? I'm attempting to get some sleep. Look, buddy, I'm doing a broadcast, do you mind? Whoa, not in the face, pal. Now, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, the chimps are protesting discriminatory... I've got a good mind to reset your alarm. Permanently. Sorry, folks, we seem to be experiencing a little technical difficulty, but I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. Oh, this just in. Domestic bedroom violence erupts in peaceful woods and got it. We'll keep you posted. Ooh. I can't even hear your own thoughts around here with all the racket around here. Holy mother of Edison! What were you thinking? You might have broken my bowl! I'm thinking you think too much, pal. What we need is some wake-up music. So when it's raining, have no regrets. Because it isn't raining rain, you know. It's raining violence. Yeah, that's 
Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. I think he was laughing at us. You know something? You're a real bright little lamp. Oh, thanks. Hey. You guys really have an attachment for that kid, don't you? Yes, he was a master. Well, that's real nice. And any day now, he might come romping back, huh? Just come whistling right back in through that door and everything will be the same. Real peachy keen-like. Uh-huh. It's a possibility. Well, at least we try to be optimistic. Optimistic? Somebody untie the knot in this guy's cord. Why don't you just shut up? Hey, I'm real scared there, Kirby. What are you gonna do, suck me to death? What is it with you guys, anyway? You act like you just came off the assembly line. Now get this through your chrome. We've been dumped. Abandoned. But he loved us. That's right. So what? He's a kid. He has a family. They move away, he moves away. It's a package deal. But maybe they're He's all... not coming back, pure and simple. Oh, yeah? Did you talk to him recently or something? That could drive up any second. You really think so? I'm not talking to you. The whole bunch of you gotta have a combined wattage of five, maybe less. It's been years. It's scrap metal time. Well, you can do what you like. We're not gonna give up hope. That's real touching, Toaster. You're gonna get me bawling like a baby any time now. I think you're jealous. Sure, I'm jealous of a bunch of dimwits. Them? Yeah, because the master never played with you. Because you're stuck in the wall. <laughs> It's back to that stupid static again. You think I don't know what's going on in here? I know what goes on in this cottage. It's a conspiracy. And every one of you low watts is in on it. Just because you can move around, you think you're better than I am. I'm not an invalid. I was designed to stick in a wall. I like being stuck in this stupid wall. But if the kid was too short to reach my dials... with his owner. 
The poor little critter was accidentally left behind on a fishing trip three weeks ago. And had to find his way across rugged mountain peaks and scorching deserts in order to get home. Little Grover turned out to be one spunky pup. If a dog can do it, we can do it. But a dog has legs. Ah, don't be a wet blanket. Actually, legs would help, you know. Brains wouldn't hurt either. Lay off. Yeah, fuck down, carpet breath. Well, I'm going with or without you. I say we stay. We'll have a new master anyway, as soon as someone buys a cottage. But I don't want a new master. I want our master. Well, what about the rest of you? You boys are gonna need a leader. Why, alone you wouldn't last for five minutes out there. I used to be a mountaineer, see? And together, we can stand against the forces of nature. Were you really a mountaineer? Sure. Ask anybody. Ask Teddy Roosevelt. Why, we shot moose together on the Klondike. Wow. Well, you know, I was thinking, you guys will need somebody bright along, too. Good idea. Listen to this. World War II, the Norman invasion. I pulled down the monkey to light the way. You know, I thought it'd be good to have somebody come along who's really strong. And loud. And grumpy. And oblivious to reality. Well... I just know I'm gonna regret this. This is it. Why, 
why you boys are gonna need a navigator. Navigator? Why, sure. I'll just tune in on a radio signal from the city, see? I can take you right there. Look at these <laughs>
is my sleeping space, see? And nobody crosses this line. Yeah, well, you better not wake us up at six as usual. What are you complaining about? You didn't do any work today. Yeah. Go find your own place to sleep, you little fuzzball.
I'm not a flower.
What's this thing with you in the blanket? What thing? You know, all of a sudden you're being so darn nice to him all of a sudden. Oh, that. Well, I was just thinking, and I got this feeling that I should be nicer to him for a change, you know? Now I feel better. Wow, well, that's weird. What's weird about it? I don't know. I mean, you were never this nice to him before. And now all of a sudden you're nice to him all the time, and I don't know. I'm, uh... I'm just trying to understand, trying to figure out, you know, exactly what it all means. Well, it's kind of hard to describe. It's like being next to a new loaf of bread. Hmm, it's, uh, well, let's see. It's like a warm, toasty feeling inside. Well, like a glow that just... A glow? Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. It's like the feeling I get when I think about the master. Yeah, that's it. I remember the first time my bowl burned him. And I thought, that's it. It's over. I'm burned out 86 to the showers. But then the master put in a brand new bowl. And I just glowed. Well, that's all there is to it. That's very interesting. Good night, Slotty. Good night. Oh. Oh.
he's safe. <laughs> no, no, just relax. You've done enough. We'll look for him. I am feeling a little burned out. Listen to this. The lamp was awarded a Purple Heart today for being wounded in the line of duty. Lamps across the nation were switched off for a moment of silence in respect for his act of bravery. Help! Hey, listen. Maybe he's calling from blanket heaven. He's a little puffy yellow angel with an odd nose. He's just stuck in a tree, that's all. Look! Help! 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 Yeah, I wish I would to knock on it. 
crab on you, idiot. Oh, it's you. What a toaster. Seems like a nice enough fella. Dingy, but nice. 
<laughs> yes, Mr. St. Peter's is quite an amusing fellow, isn't he? Oh, you poor baby. Your bobby's burned out. Here, you can have one of mine. Well, you still can. <laughs> Hello, compadre. I am a deep made of a blender motor. <laughs> a blender motor? Why, sure. I got a whole shipment of blender motors in last week. Oh, boy. Heaven sent you to me. I could have it for you two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, the pleasure of Now, what did I do with that blender? I could have sworn I left it here just a second ago. Get you sloopy as a full cap without even whisker. There you are! <laughs> I found ya. Gotta move you guys out of the way.
Mrs. Love, the blender motor, was wondering if you got some radio tubes, too. Radio tubes? <laughs> Why, sure, I got a whole shipment of radio tubes in this morning. You gotta help me, you gotta hide me, I'll do anything. Fritz, I can get you bread, mountains of hot cross buns. Come on, pull yourself together. Now, what did I do with that radio? I can swear I left it right here in this very, very spot. What did it do, just get up and walk away? I really should drink more cotton. at a bad time just wondering if you got my radio tubes underwear to stock the whole dorm, you know. Do you have enough socks? Look, Mom, I'm not going to Jupiter or anything. I'm going to college. It's just college. So let me worry a little bit. I'm, I'm your mother. mother. Oh, that's probably Chris. We're going out to the cabin today and pick up, like, the old lamp and radio and stuff. I can use them at the dorm. Oh, terrific. <coughs> Hi, Rob. You ready? Yeah. Goodbye, Mom. One 
13. This is it. Go ahead. He's not home. We'll have to wait. So let's wait inside. Relax. But it's locked. Luckily, my war training included inter-appliance codes. I will simply render the secret appliance knock and will be welcomed by the native machinery. Stand aside, my meager companion. with so many buttons and knobs and dials before. Naturally, we are on the cutting edge of technology. Wow. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Let us 
access where to count into it by pixel screen displays for you. Computer graphics locked into your memory, 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 memory. With fiber optics, Captain Plastic, for nights with sights and sound fantastic. Just reach out and talk to your dear old Uncle Emery. Lamp would look so cute in your dorm room. Go for it. 
Well, what are you going to read by then? Oh, I'll buy some candles. I won't read. I'll go out. Thanks, Mom, but I'm not going to take your stuff. Come on. Look, I'll just go try to pick up a few cheap things this afternoon and, you know, whatever. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Appliances. Cheap appliances. Available now at Ernie's disposal. Where's a good bargain place around here? You should have gone for the new stuff. Oh, uh, were you in line first here? Well, not for you, of course. Pardon me. I must confess, one more dusty road it would be just a road too long. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't seem to get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
Really now? Why don't you just go out and buy a new one? Are you kidding? Where can I find another toaster like this? Like that? Probably nowhere. Yeah, you're all a bunch of junk. <laughs> <laughs> 